Welcome to the Dataverse Prophecy Joint Demo. A lot of the questions that we get in financial services are centered around how we democratize data engineering to more personas across the organization. How do we introduce governance as a part of a typical data engineering workflow? And how do we make it simpler and easier to use Spark and build data pipelines end to end with a low total cost of ownership? The way to do all this is simply with Prophecy and Databricks. Today, what we're going to show is how to do all this in the context of a financial services pipeline, namely credit decisioning and computation of debt to income ratios and metrics. Prophecy is a complete data engineering product. With it, any data practitioner can build open source pipelines in Spark end to end from development, testing, scheduling, monitoring with all this work captured in Git. Ultimately, the starting point for all this is a GitHub repo and connecting it to Databricks, which we've already done via Partner Connect. So what we're going to show today is how to curate tables in a shared pipeline. And as part of any debt to income ratio or computation, we're going to want to ingest from a wide variety of different data sources. Those might be income or customer data sources, as I have on top here. This is my income data attributed to different customers. In Prophecy, I can see the schema to quickly understand my data and make sure I'm reading it correctly. I have things such as a customer ID, a customer name, reported income, and PII information, such as date of birth. Additionally, I might have other data sets, such as external ones corresponding to TransUnion or other credit bureau data sets. If I open this up, I have another file format here in XML, so semi-structured data, and I have things like my actual credit score, which may have changed over time. I have attributes like valid from and to date, so I know how to understand when a credit decision is made, what my valid score might have been. And lastly, I have trade line information, which is nested. So things like account numbers, PI information, balances, etc. Lastly, I have my buy now, pay later data. So from a lot of external platforms, you may get, for example, things like recent short-term loans, IDs, monthly loan amounts, balances, processors, etc. And a lot of this data will simply arrive in JSON. So what we've done is saved all this data into a centralized catalog known as Unity Catalog. One of the really core differentiators for the Prophecy and Databricks experience is the fact that as we create all these tables are saved into Delta Lake format, which is an open format that gives you ACID uh, transactions and semantics on the data lake. So you've got ACID transactions to make sure your pipelines succeed or fail with atomicity and consistency and all the other data attributes you'd expect from a data warehouse. Lastly, Databricks has introduced governance into the Databricks product, and we call this Unity Catalog. So if you're doing things like encrypting all this PII data or you're creating these pipelines, you want to understand lineage. All this is out of the box available in Databricks, so as soon as you create your Prophecy pipeline, as an example, you can see here we have this notion of you know, secrets and built-in encryption functions. So if we want to encrypt fields like social security number or name or address, you can do that really easily just by calling these functions within Prophecy. As you can see here, that's done on the SSN. Now, we've mentioned lineage. So as you're creating and integrating all these different data sets, how do I know exactly where a column may have originated? And how do I discover that column? Well, if I pop into Databricks, we'll go to the front door of the lake house, which is the Data Explorer. And there's a specific catalog that's been created as part of the Prophecy workflow called FSI Demos in my gold data sets. I can click on one of the SED Type 2 views and look at the data. Check out some of the sample data here. So as, as I've showed before, the social security number was encrypted. That's what I'm seeing as I self-discover this data. But most importantly, from an audit or compliance perspective, I can start to understand lineage. So I'll take a look at the graph. For a given column, how did this originate? Where did a specific attribute like debt to income percentages or ratios come from? So as you can see here, all this is coming from my income data, as well as my buy now, pay later data set. So I can start to get an understanding of how the data originated on the column level, as well as a table level. So now coming back to the Prophecy Pipeline, as you can see, we're finding data, we're parsing, joining, writing out to goal tables, and we're manipulating our data by choosing from dozens of out-of-the-box visual transformation gems. With these, it's easy to configure and join data without having to know Spark or code anything by hand. Lastly, because Delta Lake supports asset semantics and because it has capabilities such as mutability, can I up my, update my data? Can I merge my data, apply changes to my data as it's coming in and get new updates? The answer is yes. And all of these are supplied by things like merge commands or Delta Live tables on the Databricks side. On the Prophecy side, 
There's built-in capabilities to capture SCD type 2 views that give me extra granularity so I can understand for different valid times, such as ranging from Jan to Feb, what was my FICA score at the time I made a particular credit decision. I can pull this as of information. So as you can see here, there's a special write mode that Prophecy provides to get to this level of granularity, calls that SCD2 merge. So all we have to do is create this specific view, and I have access to the data downstream for compliance officers or audit teams to have that visibility. The engineers will notice that the commit button at the bottom here. Our visual pipeline is converted to Python code under the hood in this example and saved as a tagged release version in Git. We can even run unit tests, data quality checks, and schedule our pipeline to run on Databricks. You can see here that with Prophecy and Databricks, we're building auditable, explainable pipeline, all executing against jobs clusters and creating lineage within Unity Catalog. Extending data engineering and expanding the governance to these new personas and workflows is a very big challenge, all of which are solved by Prophecy and Databricks for financial services.